Hey everyone, welcome back to The Evil Within. We've just been left in the dark, which is an exciting time for everyone involved. We've walked around this room a little bit, can't find anything, so let's sleep. Um, what that sound? I don't know if I'm okay with any of this. Okay, well, so much for this being a safe spot. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh, hello, more shotgun shells. Like, I don't get those every time I'm here, do I? I don't think I do. All right, well, I'm gonna let myself out here. Watch, it's just gonna be the nurse. Um, before we actually go there, I wanna go here. Oh, we can upgrade. All right, well, let's do some upgrades. Let's see what we can get. Okay, uh, life gauge. We could do, but I think, honestly, syringe recovery is the way to go. Because we do use them every now and then. Oh, is that even worthwhile, though? Sure, we'll do syringe recovery. Because, I mean, right now, that means the syringes are, um, 20%. No, 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 no. 40% more effective. Actually, that's pretty good. That's, um, that's not bad. It's 40 and 60. Okay. Um, handgun can upgrade the damage. So, we're actually going to hang on to our gel for a little bit, I think. Because I want to do more firepower upgrades. More HP would be nice, but, like, we just can't afford it right now. And I, I do think we need better syringes. Uh, because we could have a greater HP pool, but I don't think that's really going to accomplish a whole lot. If we don't have... Okay, so we just came out through this door. If we don't have a greater HP... Or, sorry. If the syringes only require 36 HP, like... I have I can hold up to 120 HP, but because I'm never maxed out, like I don't think doing more H uh, HP capacity is uh, the right idea. Because we use the syringes to recover HP, so we, I think that's what we need to focus on. But see that, he, but here's the, my hesitation about getting the syringes though is that um, I think the quote unquote the proper solution here is just like just not get hit. What are you doing? Are you walking to the wall? Okay. Can we open these doors? No, I don't think we can. Because here's the thing, like, the syringes are only good if you take damage, but if you're a good enough player, you won't be taking the damage. Or, alternatively, if you have, um, more firepower on your weapons, then you can kill the threats before you get hit. Like, I think the quote-unquote the experienced play, or what the play that the experienced player would do, would be to um, improve their firepower or their weapons or something. Whereas I think upgrading the syringe recovery rate, like, I don't think it's terrible, but I think there's better uses of our um, time. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so we're not going through that way, that's for sure. And we can't open this door. Okay. Can we open any of these doors? We can open this one. Uh... Interesting. So we tried to open, but it didn't work. Did that door just open when I left? Nope. All right. Maybe I'm going delusional. I don't think we can interact with that one either. Nor this one. Okay. I just don't want to miss anything. That's why I'm checking all the doors. Got oh, there's a person in the corner. 
feel like that might be Leslie, but... Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. We're friends. Sebastian? He knows my name. Sebastian? It was me. All right, I have no idea where I'm at. I guess we're crawling all this mad hole. All right, can we smash these crates? No, they are far too big for us. That's gonna be good to have. Oh, is this a church? I wonder. It's weird to see daylight again. This game's been so dark. It's definitely not a colorful game like Castlevania. It's a very muted color palette. And as I say that, we see like a sunset and everything. You know... <laughs> uh, time to eat my own words. I mean, overall, up until this point. But even then, I'd argue that Castlevania was a more colorful game. Yeah, it was still pretty dark too. Though this is definitely a gorier game. Chapter 6, lose a grip on ourselves. Oh, yes, it is. This is actually pretty nice. I want to take a minute to appreciate this. I feel like this could be in Tomb Raider. I'm trying to think. I feel like the last three of my Let's Play... last four of my Let's Plays have been M-rated games. I mean, I guess it makes sense given the age that I am. But I was trying to think. Actually... Well, I'd play StarCraft, which is like teen rated, and I put those videos up on YouTube, but I think most of the games I do play are M-rated. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I do appreciate the good, you know, Mario platformer every now and then. But I also really like games like, you know, like this right here, Resident Evil 4, Castlevania. What can I do with this rope? Can I do anything? No, I can punch the wall, though. Uh, yes, take the handgun bullets. Um, okay. Hold. No, 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 no. I'm not looking to jump down. Um. I want to try and shoot them, but at the same time, I feel like that's a really bad idea. I can't grab the rope, so maybe I'll have to, like, interact with this later. So I will just leave. I don't think I can get through this debris. Oh, oh no, never mind. Oh, can we? No, Sebastian's not feeling it. I can't say I blame him. The attire he's wearing does not look like to be hiking attire. It's so weird that he just like run off like cliffs and stuff though, or, like small ledges. Because in other games I've played like this, like Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, like they don't let you do that. Um, hello, dead body. I mean, he's hanging from a noose, so I suspect he's... Okay, wait, hold on. What? Oh, the statues are the keys. Oh, fudge. So we've missed on two of those then. Okay, well, now I feel silly. Oh, that crow from before. Oh, now he's laughing at me. Ah, uh, okay, I didn't know you had to break them. Oh, oh, that actually hurts. Oof. That's smart. Man, some people like who've actually played the game and know what's going on. They're gonna be like, oh, why do you why do you skip the statues? I can't believe I didn't think to break them beforehand. Uh oh. What happened to Gideon? Uh, are you alright? Uh, my head wouldn't stop buzzing. It felt like it was about to crack open. That's lovely. But now it's like... I'm starting to get used to it. That's not good. You seen Kidman? No. Next thing I knew, I was here. I'm 
must have blacked out. Maybe I turned again. Inside. Let's go. Oh, that's a lot of them. Another one? Oh boy, they mean business. here because this seems like a very appropriate place to do so so thank you all for watching and uh, i think next episode is gonna be fun so until then bye